Hi everyone, let's continue the movie and there is we will discuss today how we are going to create a new variable as well as we are going to discuss normality of the data, how we have to check normality of the data. So let me open one of my file that is file it is here. This is my uh, .sav file. .sav file means this file I had created in SPSS. So let me open this file. This is my SPSS file. There are three, uh, these are the columns. One is minor. Minor means those are the number of the workers. They are working in the mines. So total number of the workers are 44. And mines means there are two categories of these mines. One is the private owned mines, another one is the government owned mines. So some uh, employees are working under government owned mines and some employees are working under private owned mines. And this is the output of these miners. By this means, those are the working in the private owned mines. This is their output. And those are the working in the government owned mine. This is their output. So what we have to do, first of all, we will see their descriptives, right? Descriptives. And these are the descriptives output. We are going to ship there, right? And this one is the descriptives. You can see total number is 44, missing value 0, mean value 40.7, median value 40.5, and standard deviation 4.5 to minimum value and maximum value. First of all, we will see how we have to check normality. So normality test is I have already defined in my previous video in, when I have explained you with the help of SPSS. The same normality test I'm going to explain here, it's applicable only on metric data, right? Normality can be applicable only on metric data, continuous data. Descriptive analysis that is based on the skewness and kurtosis also we can check normality. Shapiro test, we can check normality. Box plot test, box plot, we have to check normality. PP plot, QQ plot. And here is when I had run my data, this data through SPSS. So these were my descriptive statistics. And you can see skewness and kurtosis, it is written here. So we had calculated their Z score, right? I will show you how it would be we have to take it into consideration. First kind of normal distribution test, we are going to check mean equal to median, median equal to mode. So in my data set, we will check right through Jamovi. And this one is the mode also you are going to calculate as well as if this the data is positively skewed or negatively skewed. You can say that is not bell shape is the normally distributed data should be bell shape and the positively distributed when it is in when there's the flatter side from the positive side and negative side. This one is the flatter. So it would be calling it negatively skewed. I had already explained you all these things in my previous videos. And Shapiro test, if Shapiro wiki test will test, if we will talk about the significance level that is 0.172, means p value that is greater than 0 0.05. So at that moment, we are fail to reject null hypothesis. Fail to reject null hypothesis means we are accepting null hypothesis and the statistician, uh, those are using this term, fail to reject null hypothesis. And this, according to this hypothesis, our data is normally distributed. Our data is not non, non, data is normally distributed, but p value when it is less than 0 0.05, then alternate hypothesis says data is not normally distributed. So now this is the box plot and all. So same thing we are going to run over here. So this one is the output. Now we would like to see statistics. And the statistics, let's say we want to see mean, median, and mode also, right? So now moment you can see 40, 40, 41. So as per my this rule, mean equal to median, median equal to mode, as per this my um, assumption, mean equal to median, median equal to mode. So that means my data is normally distributed, right? So we can say with the help of this, my data is normally distributed, right? And when we have to check normality through normality, and now you can see Shapiro will test 0 0.172. So it means our data is normally distributed because null hypothesis, we have failed to reject null hypothesis. So our data is normally distributed.
right so shapriya will test also certifying this up now what we have to do we want to see through plots also let me check these plots let's say i am going to check qq plot right qq plot you can see that is reflecting normally distribution because all the dots are all the data set are on this straight line so we can say this one is normally distributed let's say we want to check its box plot now we can say box plot there is this is the median value and this is the you can say 40 like this is the median value this is the upper quartile this is the lower quartile and now there is no outliers here now, uh, what we have to do, let's say I'm going to change some data, right? What we will do, uh, let's say we will go to data. And now what I will do here, it is I am just writing rather than 100, I'm writing 120. A moment I had written 120. In the plots box plot, you could see 44th number item that is the outlier that is why it is not falling in this box as well as you can see earlier it was a straight line right but now it's not straight line that means our data is not normally distributed now we will go back to shapiro test and now you can see shapiro will test it is the p value was 0 0.05 it is less than 0 0.05 that means alternate hypothesis earlier our null hypothesis was accepted and now alternate hypothesis it is saying our data is not normally distributed because p value that is less than 0 0.01 and after that suppose i hope you could be able to see these are the outputs all these analysis and now what we have to see let's say i have uh, just uh, descriptive and uh, this descriptive statistics right and i have already shown you this one descriptive statistics has changed and all those things mode value also right and as well as shapiro will test also and now it's showing that is um, now again what we have to do you can see let's say we want to check frequency so minor these are the number of the miners in my data set 44 workers are working in the mine but there are only two categories of mines i will shift it and now i would like to check frequency because this is my categorical data there are only two categories it is reflecting here private owned mines there are 20 counts means 20 uh, people are working under private owned mines and 24 are working under the government owned mines right so this one is are uh, the uh, frequencies you can say and uh, one of the most important thing suppose you want to see this one is the histogram now it's visible this one is the histogram bar plot also you can check this is the bar plot and bar plot of this these frequencies easily visible private owned first one it is reflecting private owned mines and second one is reflecting government owned mines so i hope uh, this one is the clear to you right and uh, we can we have already seen uh, how this one is the variation is there and moment we are going to change this one is we will go back right we will go back rather than 120 and moment we have done these changes in my data set now you can see there is no outlier as well as our data it is reflecting normally distributed the same figure same qq plot you can see and uh, this one is the shapiro wiki test this one is the will test this one is the 0 0.172 p value that means we can say our data is normally distributed so i hope this video would be clear to you how we we have to check normality of the data so uh, stay tuned and keep watching and some more aspects we are going to discuss in my coming up videos thank you